Just last week, I posted a video that got quite a bit of attention here on, on this channel about a remote viewing anomaly, some data that I brought back during a private remote viewing exploration session that I was doing just for myself that happened to have some corroborating elements to what other remote viewers experienced um, that you've seen a lot of. It's been getting a lot of attention lately on the internet. And over the past few days, there's been some possible feedback that's been coming in related to the great conflict that's now going on in the Middle East between um, the Palestinians and, and Israel, or Hamas and Israel, excuse me. Um, first and foremost, it's very sad, uh, very sad state of affairs that we're in uh, in the world right now. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of this discussion here. Um, I want to talk first about just my remote viewing experience and the points of growth and learning, and then look at some of the feedback. Um, but first and foremost, um, one of the things I experienced when I realized that I had some data that matched up with um, my colleagues who are <clears throat> people I look up to tremendously as remote viewers, as role models, um, being on the newer side of it, it's exciting. It's exciting to have data that um, is on the same page as really good viewers. It's it's a validating experience. Um, by no means was my data nearly as detailed, uh, and I, I'm not comparing myself to them. I'm talking more that it affected my ego. Um, and I think I kept my ego in check, but it definitely spoke to my ego going, man, these guys got this random data when they weren't even trying to. And look, I may have gotten similar data when I wasn't even trying to, you know, work for that target. So there was a, there was an ego piece there um, that tied into that. And I was excited to share that information. And now as there's feedback, possible feedback that's coming in, I'm looking at the events that are happening and I'm looking at my specific data and I'll, I'll link to the full video so you can watch it and evaluate for yourself. Um, and again, growth point for me as a viewer, uh, I'm just looking at my data and based on what I've seen so far, I don't feel that my data is detailed enough, uh, especially because th there was no target that this was assigned to. Um, I don't feel that my data is detailed enough to say for sure, hey, this is what I saw. <clears throat> Um, it's easy when you have certain types of data with no time frame, with no whatever. Um, it's easy to go in and find an event that matches ambiguous data. And I'm speaking just on my data. Um, uh, this is no way. Is, I just want to be clear. I always get nervous um, that I'm going to misrepresent something. I'm speaking just just on behalf of myself and my experience here. Um, like I said, the other team got <clears throat> much more detail than I did because I was just doing a session for myself. So, <clears throat> all right, apologies over. I don't know that my data was detailed enough to justify saying that for sure um, counts um, if we're looking at, you know, scoring hits or whatever. But take the event itself out of it. What I think is incredible is that all of the viewers that worked it went off target unintentionally twice and brought back the same story brought back corroborating data uh, and then i think it's significant for me personally given the connection i have with the team that i had elements of that as well um, and I, I say significant, again, in the personal sense, in looking just at telepathy and intuition and psychic connections. It's fascinating to me. Why did this data come in to us? Why did, um, why did it get reported? Why do we <clears throat> all have corroborating data? What is that connection? What is that mechanism there? Uh, and I know there's other intuitives out there who got similar data that that didn't post it publicly, that didn't share it, but I've seen some chatter online and stuff. 
So whether this event is for what's going on right now or not, the fact that several viewers, multiple viewers, multiple intuitives got very similar information, I think is is significant in the fact that there was some kind of signal wherever it came from that went out and people who are sensitive picked up on it and recorded it, whatever it means, <clears throat> whatever it means. I think it's proof of just psychic stuff. And that to me is, it's just so incredible. It's why I do this. Every time I have an experience, the tiniest little hit, the tiniest little piece of corroborating data, um, I'm excited on the inside. I'm just fascinated by it. And it just keeps me going. It wants me to be better and develop this skill set even more. Um, and I'm I'm not I'm not downplaying the tragedy that's happening in the world right now. But I I like I said, I wanted to start off talking about just the remote viewing itself, my personal experiences with it. Um so I'm looking at um at this journey. Like I said, I, I don't I don't think it's fair for me to go through <clears throat> and cherry pick events and say, hey, this is it. I predicted this. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I, I don't think I had enough. Um, but I do see some elements that could be what I'm what I was looking at. However, what's what's different about my session is that, like I said, every every month or two, <clears throat> I do a session for myself. And it's really just looking into my own future, trying to establish a link between my present mind and my future consciousness. And uh, it's been a really re rewarding experience for me. The things that I've learned, the insights that I've gained. Um, and it's been a lot of fun going through that and kind of connecting with my own mind and my own self and then analyzing it and then going through an experience and then months later going back and looking at my own data and seeing then, oh, how it does line up and kind of what that means. It kind of, it gives me a deeper insight into myself and my own, my own spirituality, really. Um, so you can argue it's, you know, it's front loaded. It's not remote viewing. That's fine. Um, sorry, in my head, I'm paranoid. I'm picturing everybody screaming at me. That's my anxiety, but I, I just, it's valuable to me. Um, so I, I enjoy that process. Many of you who've been following me for a while. I used to do world events. Um, I think that's a, a, an amazing thing. I'm floored every month when the future forecasting group predicts something. And then I watch the headlines appear a month later. I sit there live with them when they're doing it. Um, before I started doing the podcast, I would sit there live with them for four or five years. And they'd say, hey, here's what I think is going to happen. <clears throat> and specific stuff. You know, they would name someone who wasn't in the news presently, wasn't sick, and then, oh, so-and-so is going to die. And then you see they're in the headlines and, and they're dead. Um, so all that stuff's documented. Not that I need to justify that, but it just amazes me. So I was experimenting with world events and I was getting better at it. I had a lot of misses. I had a lot of things that just never came through, probably because I'm just, uh, you know, I'm still growing in how I'm reporting my data. But the challenge that I found, and the reason why I got away from doing world events is because then I found myself constantly watching the news every day. I was going to the websites because I wanted to see that I get a hit, that I get, that I connect, that I, um, that I predict the future. Uh, and maybe some of that's ego, but the side effect of that, the consequence of that was then I'm watching the media every day and the negativity that comes from that. And the way my brain works, I'm constantly, you know, you've, you've heard me talk about mental health and some of my other stuff it triggers my anxiety. And then with my ADHD, I just, I make connections. I have an analytical mind and I start making connections and I start saying, where's this going? What if, how's this going to play together? And I start living my life in a fear-based scenario because it's like, oh, wow, the sky's falling, the world's ending. Look at all these things that are happening. So I've gotten away from doing world events for that very reason. Now, given this thing, this anomaly that uh, I talked about in my last discussion, um, I still wasn't checking the news until the other day when the news broke about this. And, and for the record, today's date, uh, here's my timestamp. It's October 9th, 2023. It's 933 in the morning. Um, I started checking the news and last night, probably around four o'clock this morning, four, four 30, I woke up and I really started looking at stuff because I was curious, does this match up to my data? And I start seeing things I start seeing, and I don't know how much of this I want to even get into because I don't want to spread it, but my, my, what if mine starts going, I'm a former 
Intel analyst and Intel agent. <clears throat> so I start looking at different things and playing all these possible scary scenarios in my head and start getting into a reactionary fear-based state of mind, which I don't want to be in. Um, so I meditated for about 40 minutes this morning. I did yoga and then I meditated for about 40 minutes to try to just clear myself of that. Um, cause I don't want to be, I don't want to be thinking about that. That doesn't mean that there's not possibly scary things that might be coming. Um, but I don't want to, I don't want to talk about that right now. Um, but I will get back to that at the end of this conversation. I want to share a quick recap of some of my data, and then I want to show possible feedback with this. So let me Here's my session. What do I need to know was how I tasked myself. This was September 9th that I did this session. For, again, first thing, lots large mass of people moving forward. Um, and I, obviously that's happening now. We have masses of people moving around. And that, this is when I do remote viewing, I, you know, I, I, I title my page. I, I like write down the target ID number and I give my personal inc inclination, um, you know, how I'm feeling. And then I usually get a thought or a vision that I try to just write down really quick. Um, sometimes it has nothing to do with the target. Sometimes it's pretty relevant. So that's why I've gotten in the habit of writing those down. Um, this, I think, definitely ties in. Uh, and again, remember, this is a personal session about myself. So I, when I was doing the session, I, in my mind, I was thinking this male life here was me receiving communication or a message. Um, you know, I was thinking this was me that was going to receive some kind of message. And I think the message I was receiving was the actual message that I was recording, given that the way everybody else received this download of information or this remote viewing data, because they weren't looking at this specific event, but we received a message. And what's interesting is that I was sitting here at my computer uh, before I did the session, and I just got a little buzz in my head like, oh, I should do one of my remote viewing sessions and, and look ahead. Um I didn't have this crazy premonition. It was just enough of a ping inside me randomly where I wasn't planning on doing remote viewing that day where I just got that pull to do it and I did it. So I wonder if this is the event that was pulling me into it. Um, so I want to look at the, the other thing here. We had martyrdom, which obviously I think we're seeing, um, you know, taking your life for the greater cause of whatever cause that you're fighting for. I see this. I know the indicators and warnings, which is the anxiety I had last night uh, of different things going on. Uh, I'm seeing movements of troops and who's backing this side and who's backing this side. And I look at that as indicators of warn and warnings of what's coming next. So those these are my experiences that in my own thought process that I'm that I'm going through right now. Um, no feedback on this yet. I mean, possible feedback, but nothing that I'm going to get into. Um, not these life forms. I want to talk about, uh, well, here, obviously, an event forthcoming. That could be the event itself now. Here, this is the one. Um, we have a movement of objects this, with this event. And this was a scene of traffic that I talked about. And the traffic, you know, I described the lower level gestalts. And I had this aerial structure flying over the traffic. Um, and it was noisy. It was low flying. It was hovering. And I just wrote, get out of your car. Don't hesitate. Go trust your instinct. Now, I tried to do this video yesterday. I wanted to talk about this specific piece yesterday. And I was just so, I don't want to say out of my mind, just not in the right place to do it. And I, I tried twice and I just couldn't do the session. I was just, I just couldn't do it. So, uh, and I'm wondering if it's because I'm waiting for the feedback. I got at like four o'clock this morning. Um, but I didn't, I did not do that session, but during that session, I was going to say, I don't think I'm on this at all because this scene I haven't seen yet with the traffic. And I also want to say that I was so immersed in this scene. It felt like this was for me directly. Um, so it still might be, and this may have nothing to do with what's going on overseas right now. I'm cherry picking. Like I said, I'm trying to match up. Does my data fit this? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But my initial feeling was like, maybe this is for me. Um, and it was just getting, pulling over to the side, getting out of your car and running. 
uh, and getting away, trusting your instincts. And here we are again, it's the event. Uh, and then we had this upward energetics that I labeled as an explosion or a fire as an AOL with flames, heat, black and red. We can find hundreds of images now of black and red flames, explosions coming up over there with what's going on. And I had the word strike as well. Um, truck, truck driver, union, a whole bunch of stuff that could that could fit some of the things that we're seeing. I'm going to share some stuff from the internet now. All right. This scene right here, if you see, this is from CNN. They're highlighting this. I think they had people parasailing, just hovering over as these rockets were launching over them. And I think they were having it, they were attacking with these parasails here as well. Um, so could this be the object that I saw floating and hovering over uh, traffic? Uh, quite possibly. Quite possibly could be what I was experiencing. Um, but there's more. I want to talk about the music festival. Okay, so there was a music festival that was going on that was close to the border. Um, and some footage came out of that. So here is uh, an image of, I guess these are people, we have a mass of people moving, just like my session started out, mass of people fleeing. And then scrolling down, these are varying, various other images. I wonder if that's my one, my initial picture. Huh, interesting. Um, here, this picture right here. Joan footage shows the shocking aftermath. Here's vehicles, they're all pushed to the side of the road. Is this what I was getting at? Pull over, get out, run. Um, I wonder. Uh, I wonder if this is the piece that I got. Vehicles in the road, pulling over, get out, run. There's danger up ahead. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. There was video footage. Nope, we're just scrolling through now. Um, there's video footage as well of people running. I can't find it right now, um, but it's of people running and they're running. Some of them are running to get into their cars. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's what I was seeing. I don't know if um, if this event is more personal to me and there's something coming here where I live. Uh, I just don't know. And now... Obviously, my conscious mind is fully immersed in this story and throw in some anxiety. So I am not in a position to really collect any more data uh, on this on this event. And I don't want to speculate too much. Uh, I do want to say to those of you that, that watched my last video and were kind and complimentary to my commentary on focusing on peace and meditation and kindness, thank you. I think now more than ever is the time to do just that. I always feel like my life is is giving me clues to big moments like this. Um, I, I, I just think back listening to common threads in all of my old podcasts, talking about developing your intuitive abilities, talking before I even learned remote viewing about learning remote viewing and using these tools to navigate complicated, confusing times like this. You can go find my shows, and, and this I promise this isn't an ego thing. This is more my anxiety of being judged thing here, but um, I, I, I I've been saying that for years, and I, I believe this is the time that I was referring to in developing that intuition and that psychic awareness um, and I'd say right now, more than ever, you need to make sure that you're grounded and clear and aware of the incoming signals that are and will continue to be impacting us. And I'm already seeing the division starting. My heart goes out to every single person affected by this conflict. It's not good. It's sad. It's very sad. And 
what happens with things like this is we start drawing lines and we start taking sides. Be careful of the hate. Watch the hate because that's when they hook us and that's when we now start um, amplifying that signal. Um, in, in my book, Food for the Archons, the second part of it was all about our developing your psychic superpower and the research behind it and the good that it can do. But I also was trying to prove in my book how easy it is to manipulate people through a variety of different means to include the electromagnetic field and, and psychic stuff. And, but also there was an experiment, a very controversial experiment. And I've talked about on the show um, called the Milgram experiment. And uh, it, it's in great detail in my book, but long story short, uh, I think his name was Stanley. Stanley Milgram was trying to, to under, understand how people in Germany were able to commit such atrocities during World War II. And the, it was a very controversial study involved electrocuting people that weren't really electrocuted, but people thought they were electrocuting people. Um, and what the study found, I'm not going to go through all the details of the study, but what the study found was that people are willing to commit atrocities as long as the their trusted authority tells them to do so because the transference of blame and guilt goes on to that authority. That authority, in essence, takes responsibility for the guilt that one would normally feel if they were making decisions on their own. So be mindful of your authority and be mindful of what they may be telling you to do. Whoever, whatever that authority may be, it could be it could be a leader. It could be a religious organization. It could be a social media figurehead. I say, if you're getting negative stuff, scary stuff, you're being told to feel things that are negative, hurtful, harmful, disconnect, take a step back and ground yourself before you go down that path. It's a dangerous road. Be mindful of your own mind your own energy, your own intuition, and really pay attention to those other signals that are coming in. I think that's uh, our, our best approach moving forward. And I'd say limit, in my opinion, limit what you're consuming. We need to stay informed, but we need to be mindful of the impact these things have on our own minds. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I'm, I'm a little uneasy sharing this one. That's why I want to make sure I'm not, um, by any means comparing myself to anyone else who I hold in the highest regard and respect. Uh, I'm not commenting really on, on their work, um, or saying my work is anything on that same level. I just am sharing my personal experience and I'm probably over probably an overkill of me repeating that, but I just always worry that I'm going to cross a line and uh, offend somebody who I don't want to offend. So this is just me exploring myself and my own experience with this. Um, so let me know your thoughts. What's going on? What do you think? What do you see in my data and some of the events? Um, and let's navigate this peacefully together. All right, friends, remember, never stop questioning, keep an open mind, and let your intuition be your guide. Thanks.